following for you uh, the attack video of uh, Paul Pelosi just being released uh, right now. This all stemming from uh, the October attack that happened uh, inside of his home. And now we are seeing firsthand what happened there during that attack. So what I'm going to do is show you uh, the video that was released in its entirety. And then uh, we will then uh, give you some uh, analysis and updates regarding that story coming up in just a moment. I just want to do viewer discretion is advised here as it is a violent attack there against uh, the former Speaker of the House's husband. So let's uh, show that to you right here uh, as it was released to us just moments ago. Said 2620, right? No, 2640. Oh. Yeah, it literally said in there. Hi. Hey guys. How you doing? How are you? What's going on, man? Everything's good. Hi. Hi Drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on right now? I'm not getting an answer on call, but. All right, that was uh, the, the violent attack. They're all caught on the uh, police uh, dash cam right there. And uh, you saw just how fast police then uh, entered there to take down uh, the suspect. David uh, De Poppy De uh, has been pleaded not guilty to all charges stemming from that October 28th attack on Paul Pelosi in uh, San Francisco. I want to continue our coverage right here. Our very own Alexei Petrovich uh, filed this uh, with our uh, team at Fox 2 in San Francisco. Let's listen right here on Live Now from Fox. Now, Evan Cernofsky, who is uh, one of our reporters at Fox 2, who is covering this story today. Evan, what is the latest with this? What does that video show? Yeah, Lexi, this is really stunning video that was released for the first time today. And in that police body-worn camera footage, we see the officers approaching the Pelosi home the door opens and there is ostensibly the defendant in this case, David DePap, and the former Speaker of the House's husband, both holding a hammer. You hear the officer say, drop the hammer. The suspect refuses, pulls it out, and then just off camera, you can see him motioning, leveling those blows against the former Speaker's husband, Paul Pelosi, who I have to mention is 82 years old, who was hospitalized for several days, thankfully, He's recovered. DePap was arrested right there at the scene, as you see in the video. He's facing attempted murder charges here in San Francisco State State Court. He's also facing um, kidnapping charges in a separate federal case that's playing out at the same time. Now, when the court released that video today that was played at DePap's preliminary hearing, they also released a video from behind the Pelosi home where we actually see him breaking in uh, he leaves a backpack where he had a hammer. He smashes the back doors. We all saw those pictures at the time of that broken glass and and um, some of the other evidence around the time this happened on October 28th. Uh, the court also released uh, some audio recordings, the 911 call. And importantly, they released an uh, uh, audio recording of a conversation between the Special Investigation Division detective and DePap, in which DePap essentially admits what he's done. He says he wanted to kidnap Nancy Pelosi and talks about a lot of these conspiracies that he had been following online. He said he was fed up. He wanted to lash out against people like Hillary Clinton and Nancy Pelosi. So pretty damning evidence here against the defendant in this case. Again, this was all released a short time ago, right around 9 a.m. this morning Pacific time. And that video, that stunning video that we've all been waiting to see, showing the horrific attack on the former speaker's husband, Paul Pelosi. For now, reporting live in San Francisco, Evan Cernofsky, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Evan, thank you for uh, that update. I think people might be wondering what took so long for this video to come out, especially considering that this attack happened back in October. 
right? So there's a lot of legal machinations going on here. First of all, it's evidence in a criminal trial. So police say that since it's an ongoing case, they're not compelled to release it under state law. It's not like a police um, shooting or something like that where they would have to release it within 40 days. So they're not compelled to release it at all. Uh, it was then played in open court during the suspect, or I should say defendant David DePap's preliminary hearing. So now it's entered as an exhibit in the public record. The court system here is very archaic, I have to say, uh, reporting here for almost a decade. They're very reluctant to release evidence. Um, a media coalition, including Fox, actually had to sue the Superior Court here to compel them to release it. A judge uh, earlier this week ruled that yes, that would have to be released. And then today the court made copies of those videos. And just this morning, they were released publicly. Okay, Evan, and one last question for you. Uh, what can we expect as far as what comes next in this investigation? Sure, so we know that DePap has uh, pleaded not guilty in both of these cases. Um, it's already gone through a preliminary hearing, which means the judge has seen the evidence and determined there's enough to proceed to trial. So th this case, at least here in San Francisco, is going to head to trial. And with all the charges, including um, uh, attempted murder, assault, elder abuse, DePap is looking at a lot of time in prison if he's found guilty, potentially the rest of his life when you combine both these cases together. All right, thank you so much, Fox 2's Evan Cernofsky reporting on this new story, some stunning video that we are just getting today. Thanks so much, Evan. I want to bring. All right.